So we are back to the shot. Let's take a look at it. <laughs> the cube cloud. Yeah, that's not too bad. It feels like the drop is a bit too fast. Just a, just a bit. But what you want to do basically is he comes up. And you want to have, you know, a little bit of an arc and slow down, and then, then he flaps. Like you want to feel that, that flap, that impact that the flap has. He still feels like he's completely, you know, on a straight line going over. This is why this looks a bit weird. Like you want at this point. So basically, here your ass is up here. So you have your chest. Your hips need to be down here. He's he's going. The whole body is. Imagine the red, that's the path. The body follows the path. And right now you got this weird kink in there. So way, way down with the hips. And then when he's ever so slightly slowing down, the hips will come up a bit. And then when he, sla when he flaps, he will be, you know, nothing with that with the neck. The neck will be straighter because he's kind of reaching with the head, chest, and then uh, hips will be much lower because he's flapping. Oh, everything has to have a, some sort of drag to it. And then when he's in this, this is weirdly slowing down for no reason. Like this is impossible. You're slowed down right now. That going down, there's nothing that prevents him from slowing down. And that is like a quarter flap or a third flap. That doesn't do anything in terms of physics for him to stop. So that is just, it, it becomes magical. It becomes a magical creature. Same thing here. You're turning, even though it's a nice arc, He's already going up, and we're only halfway through. The, hip, the wings would be down at this point in order, for, in order to get him propelled up. So the physics of all this is a bit funky. Hold, and he would have to, and he would immediately drop, and you can do two, two flaps, right? Comes up, flap, 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 type of thing, or you know, the flap, and then he comes up, and then he needs to have flap to stay flap drops, flap to go up, like that's, that would be the path, full flap. Same thing here, he goes, Foo. that again is magical. So he goes up and then it just has to be physics. And now going down, he's hovering, 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 that's impossible. He, it's a bouncing ball at this point and he starts dropping. And he can drop and then he can use the, the wing to go even faster. That's cool. The thing about this one is that we're opening a bit too too cleanly, meaning that's very straight. You can have one wing here and you can have a little bit of an adjustment flap and the wing goes back and go forward a bit. Just a bit more messy. It feels like I'm hitting a pose and then nothing's really animated. Cool. I wonder if you can just cheat. Yeah, you probably don't have it yet. But you know, your characters will be here, I'm, I'm assuming. This is cool to see for a guide, where all I would do is, even for review, uh, you want a ground plane. Like, it's very magical how they float. So you want to start thinking about, well, if that's the you know the ground plane, how far does this horizon go? Like, are we, are we going to see this here? Which would also be cool and helpful, who knows? Uh, different color for the ground, not blue. Um, and you, I would, you know, even in your, this seems almost like too much work. You know, you would take more than 50% out and some are higher, some are smaller. I know I'm getting into set dressing, but even then you want to, like it's just the colors are so dark. He's starting, starting to blend in. So you want to put pockets of nothing or just really make this lighter and almost like a haze. It's getting kind of hard to see certain things you know, like here, here and so on. That's cool. I like the foreground guys getting better. When he's passing right here, you can probably do a bit of a shoulder up reaction. Like, whoa, and then, oh, you know, he feels while he comes by and he can have a little bit of a move to the left and cringing. Uh, the guy could probably just be adjusting stuff more instead of just standing there. What are you saying here? Uh, just about the front man to lock in background to the animation. Yeah, for sure. Given how bam, 
Like the root would be here, he hits him, the root would still be here for more impact. This is such a quick grab. The head would snap back a lot more. This, this would still be like that. Then you would have the head here and then feet would be, you know, there, he would really be going backwards. Because right now this feels very stiff. Like the body would almost break his neck here. Which is totally fine. You want to make this, make this correct. This feels a bit weird because you're coming down and it's in a straight line. Meaning that I think you can cheat by having the head look this way. This way and then have him neck up, a curve up here a bit more. Uh, this feels like he's just standing. So I will probably A, get this one further back. It's just doing it with one. So one is further back. This one might be like this, but the foot will be up and then the toes will be splayed. Boom, into this. And then this would still be maybe here. And then by now, maybe here. What is he doing here? Yeah, so then maybe by now his other foot is holding on to his butt. So there's a so that you would hold on with both of them. I think that could be neat. Just a bit sooner. Maybe not. I don't, I don't have enough frames, but I feel like you would read it the most since we're still kind of close-ish to it. That again, we're going back to magic here. So he goes. That's a bit weird. You're having a pop here. It just suddenly goes up for no reason. So the dragon will continue this gliding path until this pose of the wings. Because like once you have this, the thing is not gliding anymore. It's just going to drop. So you would have to have this and a wing straight out. And then just through here, a very quick up and down. And maybe you have to have a couple. To me, it feels more like you want to you wanna concentrate on <clears throat> him grabbing this. So I will bring that tail a bit lower. Wings straight out until he grabs this. He can still, but he still glides, right? He can still glide and go this way. And once he's here, I will probably just give him the momentum. And, and just to get richer, feels also a bit flat. Uh, the dragon would actually be here. And then you can just pan over with the camera, which will give it some life. And then once he starts, gets around here, right, with this, wings are still in glide position. He's just here. Then you can start adding flap, 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 a couple flaps. This is, again, magical because you're going up for no reason. It's the wings that have to propel the dragon up. So that stays down. But again, I would do like a couple flaps to get back up. It's a lot of hard work. So a lot more flaps there. And then what is he doing here? <laughs> and you would have to time this where maybe the wing is back there or you, you bring the wing like back. It's almost like maybe it goes flap, 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 maybe one or two backwards flaps so that the wings are back so that we have, you know, potentially this kind of silhouette. And that way we can see how he lets go of the character. Right now, this feels weird because it's covered by the wing and then suddenly the guy just flies out. So I think you want to make this a bit of a bigger moment. Uh, I think that's it, but also on the glide, probably maybe a bit more. So a bit more of a, a bit more of a bank. This is a bit more interesting. This seems just very flat. I think that's why I suggested the flip. This is the other one. Whoops, open a couple times here. Holy moly, I was wondering how long it took to open. <laughs> All right, and then that is your flip version. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That is a bit weird. All right, right. It wasn't the flip here. Sorry, it's been a while. <laughs> Although, why not? I think looks like he has fun with it. But yeah, maybe not. Maybe it's just too much. Ah. Uh... I think it would work if this feels like he goes, yay! It's just for fun. If you would do an arc, he goes like that, flips him when he goes up, right? And then he goes to his other dragon friends. You know I mean, it's more like. So it's a kind of a flip. You almost do like a half flip 
and then you do like a sideways turn to get back into you know up upside down oh not upside down so basically he goes around here will be upside down and then starts to do a flip a roll to get back and then he will go back to his friends that could work right so you could have a clear silhouette for something more interesting to go back there right now yeah you're right this feels weird also where is the dragon going you know that could also be something all right thank you all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you